Let's talk a little bit about um, the security situation right now. We had um, sort of a mini intifada starting about a year ago, uh, and then it sort of ebbed down, and in the last few days we've seen an increase again in attacks. Do you think now again, um, leading towards the high holidays, we're going to see a repeat of what happened last year, that we have a long month of bloodshed? Not really. I mean, we hoped in a way that it ended. My feeling, I must say, when I was there in the field, while I'm trying to figure out what's happening on the Palestinian side, my feeling was that it almost ended, it almost over. But it was, it was pretty obvious for me that all the reasons that were there for the last escalation of October 2015 was still there now, a week ago, two weeks ago. And the reason that it didn't happen, the reason that we saw less terrorist attacks is, uh, well, kind of uh, understanding of the Palestinian Authority that it's not good for its interests, yes, but part of it was successes of the Israeli intelligence and the Palestinian intelligence. Every day that passes by, that passed, uh, the Israeli intelligence and the Palestinian one went and arrest people that wrote all kinds of things on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. I'm going to become a Shahid, I'm going to kill Jews, I'm going to do this and that. And the way that they managed to, to create the tool to find them managed to decrease the number of people that wanted or were on the way to do attacks. Having said that, it doesn't mean that it's 100%. And at the end, when you have one guy, Jordanian citizen, that succeeded in stabbing, or not even succeeded, but tried to do a son as kind of a, an attack, it's epidemic. Then comes another guy from Hebron. Then another guy from his family from Hebron. Then another, a third and a fourth. And suddenly you have, then again, the same wave of going up and down and up and down. And I'm sorry to say that, I don't see it ends completely with no political horizon. What role, if any, do the PA elections have in this whole cycle of violence? Could they be a signal for it to stop or even to pick up on violence? If they will ever take place? <sighs> Not really, no. The, you mean the local elections? Yeah. Uh, well, the, the, they were cancelled. Now there's a word that it might happen again. I don't see really the way that it affects things uh, on the terrorist level, on attacks. Uh, you know, this is completely internal politics between Fatah and Hamas. And, you know, Fatah might, at the end of the day, win some, gain some achievements in the West Bank, but Hamas will also... And if it would happen in Gaza, that might have been the big surprise, Gaza. Because we think of Gaza as Hamas, Hamastan, ta 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 Fatah might have won elections in some of the cities in Gaza if they were.